Give me a minute and let's talk about a Ukrainian counterattack in the Avdivka direction. So around Avdivka, we know what's been happening, right? There are an estimated 40,000 troops encircling the city, including those actively on the front at the zero line and in reserve. 40,000 troops uh, trying to take this city. And just those couple of fields that you see north of my blue marks, uh, that's about a 500 meter run in any direction from the original Russian positions. And it's taken them a month to make up that 500 meter run and it, it's cost an untold number of lives. They've been pushing, pushing, trying to get to Stepove. You can see the village right there. And where that yellow green line is, there are three houses. That's as far as they got before the Ukrainians pushed them back. And while they were attempting to regroup on the other side of the railroad tracks from their massive losses, the Ukrainians decided to take the initiative. They ran in there, uh, I guess first they hit them with drones, uh, artillery, and then they went in, uh, men inside of Bradley's, the men disembarked from the Bradley's, stormed the trenches, cleared them out, and retook, recaptured this blue area that I've marked here um, from the Russians. Now, it may sound like a good thing. It may sound like, hey, the Russians are in trouble in Avdivka, which they are. I'm not saying they're not, but so are the Ukrainians. With 40,000 men there and with the wave, the meat wave tactics of the Russians, the ability to overrun 15 or 30 Ukrainians is, is very real, especially when you consider this. This photograph is of some of the trenches that were retaken. Look at them. They're completely exposed. There's been so much shelling that there isn't a, a tree left alive. Forget about the leaves coming off the living trees and scrub brush at this time of year. Forget about that. There, there's not a tree left. There's nowhere to hide. I mean, look at this. So it's in this nightmare hellscape that the Ukrainians have managed to push the Russians back, create a little buffer zone to protect the village of Stepove and to prevent the Russians from having full access to the railroad tracks, which lead them right to, and the tree lines there lead right to uh, the chemical plant, the coke plant that the, the Russians are trying to get to. Because if they can take that coke plant They'll be able to functionally surround Avdivka in all likelihood, in all likelihood. So don't mistake this gain for a major change. It is good news. It says that the Russians are not cohesive. They are not prepared to, to hold the ground that they have taken despite the overwhelming number of men waiting behind them to take their place as they are removed. This is the current situation in the north of Avdivka. I want to thank today's video sponsor, David Starry, for joining the Patreon. Thank you, David. Uh, I really appreciate it, and it's good to have you aboard. Thanks, pal.